Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're just having a series of Bible studies. And I uh, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. And so let's uh, open in prayer. <coughs> Dear Lord, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and your love and your blessings. And we give you the prayers and the glory. And we just pray that you would be in this day and that you would bless these videos, Lord, in your name. Amen. Okay, the videos are going to be a few minutes long, um, so just little thoughts really, but it, it is a, a Bible study. But if you turn to Acts 17, um, verse 11, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. Sorry, Acts 17, that's John. Acts 17 and 11 these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether they find these things were so therefore many of them believed also of honorable women which were Greeks and of men not a few all right uh, a Christian evangelist called uh, John Blanchard he um, he was talking to two students and he said to them you know if I prove to you that the Christian faith is true would you believe and they said no and he said well it's not about evidence then it's about the way you want to live and many people today they will not come to know God not because of the evidence but at the end of the day because they want to live the way they want to live and what I want to put to you today is if you're going to know about God you've got to be willing to look at the evidence and then let the evidence change you how are you going to know if there's a God if you're not willing to read the Bible search the scriptures uh, A.T. Robertson said that the Bereans were eagerly interested in the new message of Paul and Silas but they wanted to see it for themselves what a noble attitude Paul's preaching made Bible students of them A.T. Robertson are you going to be a Bible student today and go through this series and think about where you're at with God today? Alright, thank you.